Hi, I'm Ryan with The Oxley Project. I'm in Penang, Malaysia right now, shooting a series of short films about the city of Georgetown. My friend Dan, a DJ and sound engineer from Germany, came over to help out with the post-production. While Dan was here, we thought we'd test out two high-end lavalier microphones, the Sanken COS 11 and the Sennheiser ME2. We're going to do a microphone shootout first and show the raw sound, and then we're going to use the mobile studio setup to process the audio and play it back and see what the original raw sound compares to with the post-processed. My name is Ryan with the Oxy Project. I'm a German-American independent filmmaker, and for the last two years I've been traveling the globe with a camera in my backpack. I create short documentary films together with local communities. All of the films are made for free and shared for free using a Creative Commons license. The costs are covered by donations. Some donate gear, others provide food, and other people provide free lodging. Local volunteers translate the interviews. Take a look at some of the other films from India, the Netherlands, Nepal, and Malaysia. You can find out more, make a donation, and watch all of the films at www.oxley.com. Um, just loading up compression and equalizing equalization for all the tracks. My name is Ryan with the Oxy Project. And I start by compressing it gently. I'm a German American gently. independent filmmaker. And for the last two years, I've been traveling the globe with a camera in my backpack. I create short documentary films together with local communities. All of the films are made for free. My name is Ryan with the Oxy Project. A little I'm bit a more tech. American independent filmmaker. And for the last two years, I've been traveling the globe with a camera in my backpack. Yeah, that sounds about right. My name is Ryan with the Oxy Project. I'm just like I'm taking out the very lows and the very highs. And for the last two years, I've been traveling the globe with a camera in my backpack. A little bit of low mids, muddy things I will take out somewhere around here. And for the last two years, I've been traveling yeah, that sounds good. with a camera in my backpack. And just make it a bit more audible, my name is Ryan all the transients. The I'm a German-American independent filmmaker. And for the last two years, I've been traveling the globe. More like here, yeah. I create short okay, sounds reasonable. And um, let's go to the Sennheiser track. And we're going to use the same tools, compression, equalization. And uh, let's give it a go. I create short documentary films together with local communities. All of the films are made for free and shared for free using a Creative Commons license. The costs are just a touch of compression, don't overdo it, just to make it more even. I create short documentary films together with... I create short documentary films... Raise up the attack a bit. Communities. All of the films are made for free and shared for free using a Creative Commons license. So, sounds way better. Take out the very lows and the very highs out again. ...for free using a Creative Commons license. The costs are covered by donations. I create short documentary. I think the low mids is basically just like the room sound, which both microphones tend to to pick up. The costs are covered by donations. Somewhere around here. And again, just just give it a touch more mid range to make it more audible. The costs are covered by donations. So, right now I will just start and I unprocess both. My name is Ryan with the Oxy Project. I'm a German-American independent filmmaker, and for the last two years I've been traveling the globe with a camera in my backpack. I create short documentary films together with local communities. All of the films are made for free and shared for free using a Creative Commons license. The costs are covered by donations. Some donate gear, others provide food, and other people provide free lodging. Local volunteers translate the interviews. Take a look at some of the other films from India, the Netherlands, Nepal, and Malaysia. The difference wasn't as big as I thought it would be. So basically, Sennheiser is very, very good. It is, it is clear, it is audible, it's very easy in the post process. Um, just, just little like low mids, you can, you can just pull them out, pull up a little bit of the high mids to make it more, more clear to understand. And just in total, it's, it's a very solid mic. I mean, there's nothing, nothing wrong with having some, especially if you just start out. It is a um, very good um, introduction into the lav mic market. And especially if you just like, want to do some interviews, it's uh, perfectly suited for this. Whereas the Sunken, I mean, both microphones are very, very good, but the Sunken is just that 
the clarity, the transparency, and even like all the transients, how they pop out. I mean, I, j I basically did nothing on it in the in the post process uh, process you just saw that you wouldn't uh, necessarily need. You know, it's just like this, those tiny details you can really carve out, but it's already a very solid raw track. We got there. And even if you're a little lazy or you're even like behind schedule, switch on the sunken, do your interviews, do your things, and you're good to go. Just, just put it into your edit program. Until now, I've always used the Sennheiser ME2 on the road. It's a great microphone, has a nice sound, um, but when I compared that in the last few months of using the Sanken COS 11, the sound on the Sanken is just simply much crisper, especially listening to Dan's post-production work. Um, it's obvious that the Sanken needs a lot less uh, processing to have a really nice, crisp, clean sound um, compared in, to the uh, Sennheiser in raw and in post-production. The Sennheiser just is a little bit more darker, a little bit more uh, closed sound. I think one thing that's really important for me is that the uh, Sanken is much more sensitive than the Sennheiser. So that means I can uh, record a much stronger signal, which means I have less outside ambient noise which is a real problem, especially here in Penang, where there's lots of trucks and cars and uh, motorbikes and sounds going on around me. You can find out more about Dan and his work at a link in the comments box below. A big thanks to Team 108 from Singapore, who loaned us all this great gear for the post-production of the My George Sound Short Films.